Good morning, good life. Welcome back to Amy TV, where we come together to help you go after the life you want. Well, we've heard it on repeat for almost a year now. We are living in uncertain times. But what does that actually mean? Is that an indication of what we should do next? Is it an indication of what is good or bad for our future? Definitely not. It's really just a phrase we're all using to tell a story about how things are not really going our way right now. No matter how crazy or bleak things might be for you right now, your business, your family, or any of your circumstances, let's talk about what we can do to move forward so you can productively continue to go after the life you want. And we're gonna get a little bit of help today from the sponsor of this episode of Amy TV, and that's our friends over at NetSuite. If you're unsure of how to plan for your future during the unexpected moments, you need a partner who will help provide the agility needed to build and run a successful business. NetSuite provides, you guessed it, a suite to run your business. They help you keep things simple by providing you with one place to run all of your critical business procedures. Many growing businesses today run multiple systems and applications for financials, HR, inventory, and well, everything else. Imagine if you could run it all in one place. Don't you think that that would cut down on the stress of it all? And of course it would cut down on the costs of having multiple platforms from multiple vendors and also give you that one look that you want to see about the state and the health of your business. NetSuite is 100% in the cloud and was actually the first cloud company. This is so important for scalability, but also for your business's flexibility. Right now, the majority of people who can are working from home. So having that cloud access is critical to the work from anywhere mission. With a suite of applications, which includes ERP, financials, commerce, inventory management, HR, supply chain, CRM, and more, NetSuite enables businesses of all sizes and across all industries to work more effectively by automating and providing real-time insights into operational and financial performance. Discover more details can help you prepare for the future, certainly during a time of uncertainty, but also when things are going pretty well by checking out the link in the description below. And thanks again to NetSuite for sponsoring this episode of Amy TV. My very first piece of advice when it comes to planning for a time of uncertainty is to switch your approach from one of expectations to one of intentions. Expectations are a sneaky little thing that sound good, like you're a leader allowing everyone to know what the expectations are of all. But in reality, they're a great way to set you up for disappointment. Typically, if your expectations are not being met, then you are trying to control the uncontrollable. And that is not where we should be focusing your energy. It should be all about the actions that are possible by you. So constantly having to remind yourself and maybe the people around you that your expectations are not being met is a great way to dwell on things that are not going to make the difference at all. Here is the reality of the situation. We are always in uncertain times. I know that's kind of weird, right? But that's because we are always in a state of change. Heraclitus said, no man steps in the same river twice. Why? Because the river changes also because you're changing. You've probably noticed this before when you tried to do like a diet that worked for you once and it didn't go as well this time. Or if you've done anything before that you thought was gonna go well, but it didn't or vice versa. It's because we are always in a state of change. So when you shift expectations to intentions, then there is more action behind it and you're not hanging your hat on things that are no longer the case for you. Remembering that we are always in uncertain times is the best way for you to shift that perspective. And then the next thing you can do is question being comfortable. Now, I don't want you to be constantly living on the edge and worrying about what comes next. That's the worst thing that you can do to prepare yourself for an uncertain future. But to be comfortable when things are going really well is another example of your expectations just hanging out being all present in your life and stuff. And when we're trying to shift away from expectations and more toward intentions, we need to recognize comfortable for what it is. And it is that we want to resist change. But as you and I already know, change is inevitable. Think about a time when you were comfortable. What was that moment to us? What did it mean 
to us. And if things are either better or worse right now, then why is that the case? If it is bad now in comparison, how is it that we got comfortable in that former moment? Listen, we should always be grateful for a moment that's going really well. When we observe it and we see it and we appreciate it, that's amazing. But we can't let the fire go out of us at that time. That is the surest way to get too comfortable, to think it will always be the same. And we know it won't. Why? Because it's always changed. Are you getting the point of the story here? Now that we're open to every day, the change, the unexpected, the uncertain, we are willing to lean into that and to work with it. We've got to lose the labels. Are things good right now? Are things bad right now? Are they dismal right now? Are they the worst of all times? right now. The more that you give something a label, the more you lean on that label as an excuse as to not doing anything about what's happening. Something is only good or bad because you say it so and you have control over you. So why not let this be a moment where you can change your perspective? Again, we're switching from expectations to intentions. And instead of letting expectations get the best of us, we're going to intend to make the most of this situation. It doesn't even have to be good. It just needs to be different if we don't like it. And hopefully we'll get to good. But again, we lose the labels so we can open up the possibilities. There are times that are very obviously bad. People dying, people losing work, people not being able to take care of their basic necessities. These are all bad things. I don't think we would argue otherwise. But if we spend too much time stewing on what is so bad about it, we can't actually seek out the good steps to take in the right direction. If you want to prepare during a time of uncertainty. Stop trying to find so much certainty in your feelings and seek out certainty in your actions. This is a big one for a lot of people who feel maybe that they can't necessarily change their circumstances because of those around them. And that is why I want to advise you to avoid herd mentality when you are working toward a better moment during uncertain times. If you find yourself surrounded by people who are encouraging ways to feel and ways to think that are self-sabotaging, you've got to do something to change it. While others are wallowing, why don't you go out and seek the tools that are gonna help you move forward to get you out of this negativity in your mindset? Even if the people around you are definitely to blame for it, it's still on you to allow it inside your mind. I love what Seneca says about worry. A man who suffers before necessary suffers more than necessary. We don't need to judge others. We don't need to out philosophy other people. We don't even need to try to change them. In the moment when someone worries, whether it's about you or it's about them or all things, they're not doing anything that is going to move them forward. And I'm speaking of you as well. If you worry because of what other people are saying about the circumstances to you, you're not doing yourself any favors. You must avoid herd mentality, specifically when it comes to worrying and complaining and just trying to justify the state of things. And finally, when preparing during uncertain times, I want you to just stop and write what you know for sure. When we write, it is powerful. It takes what's in our mind and puts it down on paper. We can take the hypothetical and put it in real life. All I want you to do is just pull out pen and paper. If you would rather type, that's fine. Maybe you'll feel the impact differently. Maybe you know that about yourself. I know you're very self-aware. Choose accordingly. If you're losing track of all of the craziness right now, think about what you're worrying about, what you wanna do, what your plans were that changed. Just write down what you know for sure is happening, what you can do about it, and what you will do about it. There's a huge difference between what you think is happening or the hyperbole of the world and what actually is. So when you write it down, anything you want to make real, even if you don't even know if it's all the way real, just make it real, put it down on paper, get it out of your mind and into real life so you know what you have to work with. It's interesting, our minds are constantly looking for us to just 
punctuate on whatever we're thinking. So sometimes if we take a task out of our head and put it down, we feel better. The same is true of all the stuff that you are stewing on right now. Get it on paper because you'll at least allow your brain to punctuate the worries and the concern and move on to the productive. When you know what is and you can look right at it, you have a great place to start. Question of the day. What are you gonna do today to start helping yourself prepare during these times? Whether they are certain or uncertain when you are watching them, really depends on the story we're telling ourselves, right? Leave that in the comments down below. And thanks again to our friends over at NetSuite for sponsoring this episode of Amy TV. Whether you're having a good time or a challenging time in your business, they will be there for you. Check out the link in the description below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Remember, subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers. <laughs> Got something in my throat right when I finish that sentence. There is a man painting outside with a very loud wobble on his ladder. <laughs>